Bill C-45. So I think during the, uh, the witnesses that we heard from, there was many issues that came up that were not necessarily part of Bill C-45, but there was very impassioned discussion and concerns raised around them. And uh, so I was, I was going to move that the, um, we request the analyst to draft a short letter no longer than five pages to be sent to the Minister of Health. The letter would summarize the most credible evidence and best advice the committee received regarding several discrete issues, which we believe are important. And the list I had on discrete issues was the need for public health education and awareness campaign, establishing metrics and baseline measurements to evaluate the success of C45, collaborative and respectful outreach and support to First Nations, Inuit and Métis communities to ensure appropriate implementation, legalizing alternatives, especially edibles, pardons for those that were charged and or convicted of crimes now legalized by C45, and concerns regarding management of international treaties. Mr. Davies. And I would move that, but I would be open to adding to that list of issues or shrinking it. When would we, when would we have a, a crack at the draft letter? What, at what stage? Would that be in class by class? At some point we would need to take the time to review the letter. Okay, Mr. Davies. Um, I think it's a good idea, and certainly some of those issues, I think, are appropriate to direct the analyst to write on, but some of them are not because they're actually uh, the subject of the bill, and the Liberals are, you're, you're, you're previewing uh, an outcome prior to the clause by clause and amendments. So for instance, on edibles, um, it's no surprise I'll be moving amendments on that. You, I don't think the Liberals want to look like they're instructing the analyst to write a letter to the Minister um, to, to, to study the introduction of edibles into the bill before we've had a chance to clause by clause and entertain the amendments that I'm going to be moving for it. Um, and I think that's the same thing for pardons. I think on education, on uh, metrics, on outreach to Indigenous, uh, for Indigenous groups and international treaties, I believe those subjects are appropriate right now for the analyst to, to work on, but um, well, it was edu the first education, public education, metrics, uh, the outreach to First Nations, Inuit and Métis, and then the last one, the management of international treaties. None of those are actually touched by the bill, so I think it's appropriate to start working. But we can't anticipate uh, that uh, the, where this committee is not going to pass an amendment. We may, we, if we actually feel strongly that edibles should be included in the bill, instead of writing the minister, maybe we'll do our job and amend the bill next week or the week after. Are you saying it shouldn't be in the letter? No, and, and nor should the, yeah, I, I think it's bad form to instruct the analysts to start writing a letter to the minister on subjects that we have the opportunity at this committee to amend. Mr. McKinnon. Um, I take Mr. Davies' point, but I think that this list of uh, topics is suggestive. I don't believe the letter would go out or should go out before we've finished uh, deliberations on uh, clause by clause. So we can, we can revise this list, we can add to it, we can subtract from it once we've uh, finished clause by clause. Um, but I, I personally would like to see that kind of um, language uh, from our analyst to uh, um, you know, to have a, 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 an idea of what the letter would look like in the end. Uh, and actually to that list I would also suggest adding provision uh, to um, consider licensees who have had previous um, conv convictions under, uh, you know, relating to cannabis. But people had already, they, people could participate in the industry who had been convicted at an earlier stage. So. Correct. These, these are all things that we may or may not deal with yeah. in clause by clause, but I think they're currently they're not part of the bill. It's something it'd be reasonable to consider as, as potential uh, text for the bill. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I think it's, um, 
it's more powerful when we come with a unanimous letter, and I, I like the idea of that. And I'd be prepared to support the four that uh, Mr. Davies indicated, the public health education and awareness, the establishing of metrics, the outreach and support to First Nations, Inuit and Métis, and the concerns regarding management of inter international treaties. I, I would exclude those uh, the, the other two uh, because I expect the NDP to bring amendments that way, and I would not be supportive of the one that's been proposed by Mr. McKinnon. Mr. Oliver. I, I think um, I, I think perhaps the consideration for um, licensing of producers uh, with prior convictions, if if there was a successful amendment to the bill and they were subsequently able to be pardoned, then that probably wouldn't stand in their way of their application. So. I, I would accept those changes, and and I also agree with the comment that this probably is something we look at after we finish the clause by clause, because there's no intent here to attempt to preempt the, the work of the committee. Mr. Davies. Well, if that if John's in agreement, then I am. I was going to respond to to Ron's point, but yeah, I, I think it's bad form to have a piece of paper in advance saying you're just basically telling people you're not going to entertain any amendments, right? That's it's not not really uh it wasn't the intent of this motion no no all right we have uh mr oliver's motion on the floor as amended, as amended. As amended without with removing two subjects and and adding one is that correct no, no. Not, not adding one. there's four the first one the second one the third one and the last one and removing the bulleted fourth and fifth and what about the proposal by Mr. McKinnon to talk about people who have had previous convictions? I'll, uh, I'll withdraw that suggestion. All right. And incidentally, by the way, um, if, if we are looking at this letter after clause by clause, of course, if we haven't amended the bill, then it would be appropriate at that time to, to put add, those back add, in the letter. So. All right. All in favor of the amended motion? Amazing. Unanimous. Motion carried. All right. Thanks very much. Now, Mr. Chair, just a quick question. I'm sorry about the clause by clause. I, I can't remember if those are in camera or televised to get both ex both extremes. No are they public? There's no instructions and no televised. Uh -huh. I'll request that we televise, mainly because, uh, and I, I will give credit to the government for their televising of the witness testimony, but I think. To finish off this loop, I think that you know Canadians, particularly because we're doing it quite quickly, that it would be wise to have Canadians see the the amendment process. Is that a motion? It, it is indeed. I mean, the clause by clause meetings be televised. Okay. Any debate? All in favor of televised meetings? Excellent. Motion carried.